Today we're going to explore passcode security settings for your iPhone. Before we get into the passcode security settings, we're going to go over a couple things for signing in on the Apple ID. First thing I'm going to do here on the web, I'm going to sign in and I have the Bitwarden extension for the password manager and secure vault. So signing in is as simple as control shift L. Password is automatically filled and this vault is protected with a hardware security key. So it's practically unhackable. Makes it very easy to log into your accounts. Now it's asking for a security key. And as you can see, we have a security key on the side of the computer. We touch that key and we're authenticated to our account. Under trusted phone numbers, one of the things I wanted to point out is we have a Google Voice number tied to a Gmail account that is also secured with a hardware security key. So this account would be used for account recovery if ever we lost the phone. You do not want to use your cell phone number as your trusted number because the device could get lost, damaged, or stolen. We've done numerous videos on that. See a link up above if you want more information on getting a Google Voice number. Now that we've logged into the Apple ID on the web, I wanted to show you some configuration options on the passcode on the iPhone itself. We'll come into the settings and we'll scroll down here to face ID and passcode. We'll click on turn passcode on and you can see that it defaults to a six digit code. And when I first set up the iPhone, that's what I did. I picked a six digit code not realizing that you can configure this passcode in various ways. So if you come down here and just click the passcode options, there's a custom alphanumeric code. You click that, or you can come down here and say a custom numeric code, either one. And now you can set the length of that passcode for whatever you want. It doesn't have to be six digits, even eight digits. It could be even more. I'm going to pick a real simple passcode here just for demonstration purposes. It's telling me it can be easily guessed. That's okay. There we go. Verify your passcode. We're using eight digits for demonstration purposes. Now, if we go back down to the passcode, we say turn off passcode. You can see it doesn't have a standard six character input. It's how many other characters you decided to put in for your passcode. So anyway, that's just a quick demonstration of how you can change the configuration of the passcode, change it to whatever you want, how many other characters you want. That's a wrap on changing the passcode configuration settings. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. Please consider giving the video a thumbs up and subscribing. And have a great and wonderful automation day.